so now we will cover our rc circuits example one it will be rc transients so this is the circuit diagram more or less there is a switching operation that occurs at t equals to zero this is the voltage source and omega is given as 314 and this is capacitor and we are asked to find out what the voltage what current the voltage source supplies as a function of time now first process same what find out the time constant time constant would be one for rc circuit would be one over r equivalent times capacitor now how to find out r equivalent we will see from the capacitor terminal <coughs> from the capacitor terminal what equivalent resistance we see there is a 5 ohm resistance and independent source gets turned off uh, just like before after time t equals to zero this is shorted so like this and there is a 5 ohm resistance on here and we have to see what is the equivalent resistance from this terminal from this terminal only 5 this 5 is the resistance this is shorted out so that will be 1 over 5 into 500 micro so that gives you that 1 by tau value would be 400 and I transient would be a e to the power negative 400 t now we have to find out our phase solution phase solution after switching the circuit looks like this remember remember this this is shorted out so this resistance doesn't occur and if we convert into the time domain the voltage source is 100 root 2 angle of 90 degree and this is 5 and in phase domain this will be j6.36 so the current steady state current that goes through will be 100 root 2 angle of 90 degree over 5 minus j6.36 and the value will be 70.48 angle of 141.82 degree so i steady state as a function in the time domain would be 70.48 sine of omega t plus 141.82 degree and what will be the complete solution complete solution will simply be the superposition of transient plus steady state solution as you see the transient solution is a to the power negative 400 d plus 70.48 sine of omega t plus 141.82 degree now at to use boundary condition we really have to see what is the current that source supplies at the moment t equals to zero now to know that we have to know what is the initial condition of the capacitor and initial voltage now initial voltage v at the rate of zero will be simply we will put t equals to zero on here and the value will be 100 root 2 sine 90 or in other words just 100 root 2 now what will be the initial voltage uh, through this capacitor we know, in, we know voltage through capacitor cannot change abruptly so we will go through the circuit at the time t equals to 0 minus and find out the voltage of capacitor and that will be the voltage even after t equals to 0 so at the rate of t equals to 0 minus the circuit looks like this this is 5 this is 5 this is minus j3 6.36 and this is voltage now the current supplied will be the current supplied will simply be 100 root 2 angle of 90 degree over 10 minus j6.36 and the value will be 11.94 angle of 122.45 degree and the voltage across capacitor will be this current phasor multiplied by minus j 6.36 and if you try to find it out it will be 75.9 angle of 32.45 degree so this will be the equation that governs the voltage across the capacitor before time t equals to zero uh, in the time domain it will be 75.9 sine of omega t plus 32.45 degree and to find out what is the voltage specifically at the moment t equals to zero we simply put t equals to zero in this equation and it turns out to be 75.9 into sine 32.45 degree
and the value will be 40.74 volts so that will that will be the voltage across capacitor at the rate time t equals to 0 now let's move to the circuit condition after switching so at the time t equals to 0 plus this looks like this like this and then then it shorted out sorry it shorted out and here is our condition the voltage source has value 100 root 2 at the time t equals to 0 the voltage across the capacitor has a value 40.74 at the moment t equals to 0 and this capacitor is only 5 so what will be the current going through at t equals to 0 the current that's going through will be simply the voltage difference across the resistance which will be 100 root 2 minus 40.74 divided by that resistance we know that from ohm's law and that will simply become 20.13 amps so so we have found out our complete find out, found out our initial conditions <coughs> now we will simply put t equals to 0 in the complete solution and our complete solution turns out to be ic is equals to a plus 17.48 sine of 141.82 putting t equals to 0 in the complete solution and that equals 20.13 and the A value we get after solving this will be 9.325. So finally, the solution of current, a solution solution for the current as a function of time will be <coughs> 9.325 e to the power e to the power minus 400 t plus 17.48 sine of omega t plus <coughs> 141.82 degree so this will be the answer and this will be the complete solution of the current that goes through across through the uh, voltage source so this is our first problem in the capacitor rc circuits for rc transients and i will not solve uh, any more rc circuits for now i think if you take all the five other circuit problems and this problem you're good enough <coughs> If you have any question, let me inform in the comment and please, uh, please don't forget to subscribe at our channel, both in YouTube and in Facebook. Thank you.